pasting something okay so and now you need to mention the name of the library right which is nothing but live blast dialab okay so use that live blast dot dylib okay so i gave it here and let's see what happens okay like i said before there's a bug in this library which means we should we will get errors with uh, when it tries to test the programs which has complex variables okay so uh, they save that one yes now do make okay okay so it's going to take a while oops it says that permission denied which means we have to be super user okay let's do that again so how do we do that super user on macbook the command is sudo space dash yes okay put the password and press enter okay now you're good to go let's do the make okay let's wait for a while and see what happens nope so what happened was i changed the make file a while back right i asked did to install blast library from the net lib right so we need to take that off so go to make file first and change that one do that as a normal user okay so exit okay so emacs make file go to go back to that and try to remove this blast lib here okay this is what causing us problems because we don't need to install blast library anymore because we have that from the macbook so try to become super user again sudo dash yes okay now let's do the make let's see what happens looks like it's going on okay oh by the way i forgot to mention first time when i changed the optimal flags from dash o to dash o2 i didn't save it which means it's still working with uh, dash wo 0 so you can change that to dash wo 2 but don't do it with dash wo 3 because i got problems it's going to fail eventually okay now here you can see that it failed when it's trying to check the complex ones okay actually there are four variables you can do it with uh, double operation and uh, single operation and complex and complex 16 so it pretty much fails with complex and complex 16 so this is the bug that's there in the optimized version of libraries that comes with the macbook you still want to use them because for writing a program which doesn't have any complex variables then what you can do is go back to the make file okay emacs make file here what you can do is take off lapac testing and blast testing if you do that if you do that it's going to be fine but it doesn't mean that you can still run the programs which has complex variables it's not going to work out but if do make clean okay ls and you can see that here it has the library here and but it doesn't have blast library because we are just using from the mac which has optimized one and we are not trying to install blast library that's why you don't see any blast library here let's do the make again so now here you can see that it doesn't show any error which means everything went well like i said before it doesn't mean that you can still run the programs which has complex variables so just to get around this problem i decided to install atlas which is automatically tuned linear algebra package which has very few lapac programs i think so if you still want to have the full lapac library with atlas you just have to link them together show you how to do that sometimes what you can do is you can just copy these libraries to your home directory and put them in the path that way it becomes easier so now just exit from being super user for example if there is a program prog.f90 490 program so if you want to use the libraries from the macbook which are optimized either blast or lopac you just have to mention something like this 
this is the compiler Fortran 95 compiler and then dash o this is the executable name prog and then this is the program the Fortran 90 program you are compiling and this is the command dash framework vec lib otherwise what you have to do is you have installed the blast and lapac libraries from netlib you have to give the whole path here most of the times if you don't give the whole path of the libraries what happens is apple overwrites them so make sure that you give the whole path i'm going to show you how to do that when i install atlas okay now let's do the installation of atlas so go to the google and put atlas package there the first one you see automatically tuned linear algebra software which is nothing but atlas so you go to that one and click on the software link okay. here don't download from this link because uh, it's an unstable version which is latest but very unstable which means they haven't yet fixed the bugs and errors so go to the stable version which is here and the latest version okay and download so I have already downloaded it onto my desktop so let's go to the desktop you could see that this is the one I downloaded from there at last let's untar that file tar dash x z v f at last okay so okay clear again do the list and you can see that this is the folder we got from untarring that file atlas so if you go to that file cd atlas you can see that the install.txt it explains how to install atlas on any machine open the file okay once you have that file my macbook is intel core 2 duo processor which means it, it's a 64-bit machine so by the way on windows and linux you just have to stop the cpu throttling otherwise nothing would work even after installation if you don't know how to do that just go to the google and uh, you can find different sources to do that anyway i don't know how to do that on macbook and i searched online i didn't find any proper material to do that there's no feature to do that on macbook go to the desktop again or anywhere you want you know here i'm going to create a build directory which means it's going to build all the files in this one so make dire uh, build no. yeah build atlas mac now enter that one okay once we are in that we just have to configure atlas and configure it's there okay configure try to make link so it says some error so let's go to the make file and see what's wrong with it there okay and here if you see it's uh remove dash f i think when you try to remove the folders you need to mention recursively or rf there okay we don't need maybe there we need to do there okay so yep that worked perfect now what happens if we do make hmm. uh, okay it looks like now it's working fine so whenever you try to compile and then something goes wrong make sure that you clean it before you again try it out you can see that Iteration was successful, so you need to get some message something like this at last install complete examine whatever then it takes off unnecessary files then the next step is go to the file here and uh, try to follow the next step make check yeah once we are done with the installation we will do the sanity check by type make check you can see some errors from the grep so since there is no fail it basically since there is no fail in the log output it says that there's an error 